KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Monday, October 14th. I'm James Spann. Better chance of showers today over the southern half of the state, but pretty much statewide tomorrow. A big soaking, best rain event we've had in quite a while. Let's take a look at things. Here's the upper air look this morning. We have a trough over the eastern states that brought down that nice, refreshing, cool air for the weekend. The leading edge of the cool air is a stalled front down over southeast Alabama, and that will be slowly drifting northward over the next 24 hours as a warm front. There's a radar this morning a little before 5 o'clock. Had one little patch of showers over Chilton County, but the better chance of showers today will most likely stay south of U.S. 80 down across the southern half of the state. And it feels good. Look at all the 40s on the board. 44 early this morning at the Shoals and Decatur. Birmingham at 54. We do think the sun breaks out for the northern half of the state today. A mix of sun and clouds with a high up in the 70s. Watch warning map. Relatively quiet to start this day. There's the severe weather outlook through tonight. No severe weather expected. Maybe some isolated storms for the southern half of the state near that frontal boundary. Tomorrow... A marginal risk around the Arklatex region, but again, for us, we don't expect any severe weather, but a really good soaking rain with a chance of some thunder. And on day three, which is Wednesday, the better chance of rain shifting down into southeast Alabama is drier air returns. Rain for the next seven days, heaviest rain right down here in the deep south and back in the Pacific Northwest. For Alabama, some really good rain amounts for October. Rain amounts between one and three inches for most places. Maybe a little more in spots, and again, the bulk of this will be tomorrow and tomorrow night. In fact, look at this. This is the day two excessive rain outlook from WPC, the Weather Prediction Center, and this is suggesting the chance of some flooding for about the southern two-thirds of the state. I haven't seen a map like that around here in a long time. Check weather in the tropics, uh, several areas of interest. First off, Tropical Storm Melissa. In the North Atlantic, that's expected to dissipate by tonight as it moves away from the United States. The wave that's near Central America, that could wind up in the Bay of Campeche, just a low chance of development. Got a wave in the Atlantic, again, moving toward the Windward Islands, a low chance of development there. However, there's a high chance with that wave coming off the coast of Africa. That's Invest 94, but uh, that will likely stay far, far, far from the United States if anything pops out there. So... Model fans, let's go. Here's the GFS. This is the 06E run, 4 o'clock this afternoon. Got a fairly fast zonal flow across the country. And again, uh, for us, any showers today should be mainly over the southern half of the state. Probably not much rain with that stall front. For the northern half, a mix of sun and clouds with 70s. But tomorrow, yeah. A, a trough comes along, a wave forms on the stall surface boundary, and just a good soaking rain event for the state. We'll be in the 60s all day. There could be some thunder, but there's just no instability, so we don't expect any severe storms. Rain amounts, again, one to two inches for most, maybe some more in spots. Wednesday, showers will likely end pretty early in the day. The sky becoming partly sunny by afternoon. I'd say we'll be in the upper 60s, and Thursday looks delightful. Just a gorgeous fall day. We'll be well down in the 40s to start the day, maybe some 30s for the colder pockets. The high will be in the upper 60s, bright sunshine, and the same thing on Friday. A beautiful day, sunny. We start the day in the 40s. The high should be in the 70s. Just great. All right, weekend, Warriors. This is Saturday. For now, we'll leave it dry. We'll call it partly sunny. We'll be well up in the 70s. And Sunday, we could creep up into the 80s with a good southerly flow here. We've got many days left in the 80s. The 90s are gone. But, uh, again, don't be shocked if we see a warm, humid day Sunday with a chance of showers. Don't think it's going to rain all day, but there could be some scattered storms in an unstable air mass like that. Here's a week from today. This is Monday the 21st, troughing off to the west, and that looks uh, pretty wet and maybe stormy. Uh, again, low 80s, 
Showers and thunderstorms likely, maybe some strong storms. Keep in mind we're coming up on our November, December severe weather season. That'll be here pretty soon. Let's go out 10 days. This is Wednesday of next week, the 23rd. Pretty good shortwave north and west of the state, and that looks like we're kind of wrapping up a good rain event. So the pattern looks fairly active here, which is good for a state that uh, for many places is still in drought. Rain for the next 15 days for Birmingham. The mean is just under three inches, the green line. And the numbers off the European, you see 70s and 40s after the rain for the latter half of the week. Then we go well up in the 70s this weekend and early next week. And again, don't be shocked if we see some low 80s in spots. And then after that, we cool down again with mostly 60s and 40s and 50s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.